Come on, girl. Hey friends, it's Elastigirl and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Just kidding you guys, it's Emily and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have a very, very, very exciting announcement for you guys and that is I'm going to be starting Halloween, so a week before Halloween, every day leading up to Halloween, I will be posting a video hopefully if I get them all edited on time. But anyway, I'm gonna be posting a video every day up until Halloween related to Halloween themed makeup and you might see a few of my friends in them as well. And I can't wait to show you guys these videos because I've worked so hard on them so to kick things off today I'm gonna to be showing you guys an easy makeup look that you can do for Elastigirl for Halloween I painted on this costume because I didn't have one and this was kind of like a last-minute idea that I had and I'm kind of like randomly doing this in the middle of the night because why not? So today I'm going to be kicking things off by starting a new series on my channel for Halloween called Pixie Hair Scare and that's where I get pixie haircut makeup ideas because there aren't a lot of things out there for girls with short hair. So anyway, if you guys want to learn how to do this, please keep on watching and let's get on to the video. So right now, you guys are probably wondering, Emily, where the hell is your shirt? But don't worry, you guys, I actually have a tank top on, and this is to prep for body painting later. In the meantime, though, let's begin by pinning our hair back, and let's start by prepping the face. For today, I'm going to be taking my Benefit Professional Primer and applying that as my base. Then I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 180 and I'm just gonna go ahead and dot it all over my face like so. Once my foundation is applied, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my damp beauty blender and buff that all over my skin. And you might notice that I haven't put any of the foundation on my forehead yet, and that's because this foundation does tend to dry down a little bit more quickly than I would like. So I just do that last and then I'm gonna apply it on my neck as well because we want our face and neck to match. Today's also a sad day because we're going to be putting the foundation on our lips as well to achieve Elastigirl's really thin lips. She literally has the thinnest lips in the world. Oh my gosh. But anyway, we're going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Yes, you guys, I literally just did this. I'm like cringing at myself, like watching myself while doing this voiceover right now, just watching me put concealer on my lips. And we're also going to add some on our chin and around the sides of our nose. And I'm also going to put some on my beauty mark because she doesn't have one. So I'm trying to conceal that. And I'm also going to put some on my forehead and then blend it out once again with the beauty blender. I also have a small makeup hack for you girls with beauty marks like me and you're trying to conceal them. Just mix some of your concealer with a little bit of translucent powder and pat it on and we'll have more fuller coverage. Now I'm going back in with my damp beauty blender and my CoverGirl loose powder in translucent light. Yes, I got the name right this time. And I'm just going to go ahead and really pack the powder into my face to set all of the concealer and layers of foundation that we've done before. And once it's done baking, I'm just going to go ahead and take a big fluffy brush and blend it all out and just make sure not to taste it like I did because it tastes really bad. For Elastigirl's round cheeks, I'll be mixing my Tarte Blush in Party with the Jeffree Star eyeshadow in the Beauty Killer palette called Courtney to achieve that coral blush that she sports in the movies. Since her blush is more on the orangey side, I'm going to be applying Courtney more heavily on my cheeks than the other blush. Next, I'm going to be dipping into my Benefit Cheekathon palette and dipping into a shade called Dallas. It's a really cool toned brown shade and it's perfect for contouring. So today I'm going to be contouring my nose to look just like hers since she has a really tiny slim nose and mine is kind of bulbous. So I'm just going to try to achieve that look. Don't come at me. This is literally like my first time contouring, you guys. I know it's not the best job, but I tried to make it as realistic as possible. Now to make our nose appear even more slim and tall. I'm just going to go ahead and define it with my e.l.f. Baked highlighter and blush gems and I was like, oh my gosh, this looks so snatched. So now's the time where we really get to transform into Elastigirl. So first I'm going to be taking some grease makeup that I got from Party City. This is in like a black shade and I'm just taking a lip brush and I'm going to start outlining the mask on my face. So this should be fairly simple because I noticed that the Incredibles didn't really have eyebrows when they wear their masks. So all you have to do is follow the natural shape of your brows. No matter what they are, just follow the natural shape. It'll make it so much easier to begin painting the mask on. So all you guys really have to do right now is just focus on painting the mask. And for that, just literally have the deepest focus ever. This is literally like doing eyeliner. It's like one move and you're done for. Because literally grease makeup is so tough to like kind of maneuver, I guess. I don't know. This is my first time using it. So I'm a newbie at this and I didn't really like 
like it because it felt like sunscreen. But anyway, try to mirror the bottom of the mask to the top of the mask. That way they're kind of symmetrical, but the bottom of the mask should have a little bit more of an arch, if that makes sense. Just kind of watch what I'm doing. I'm kind of bad at explaining things, but yeah. And once you're happy with the way one half of the mask has turned out, just go ahead and make the other side of the mask and try to make it as symmetrical as possible. If you don't like it, I had a few mishaps here and there of like whether it was off balance. So I just went ahead and filled some in on one side and I added it on the other side as well, just so they would be even. Once you're happy with the shape of your mask, all you have to do is go back in with the grease paint and just start painting in the empty areas of the mask. Make sure this is opaque because you don't want any like patchiness of the mask, otherwise it'll look weird. Now I don't like the grease paint, but I do like how the mask turned out because it looked kind of shiny like how it did in the movie, but did feel really bad around my eyes. Like it just was like an unsettling feeling, like I can't shake it off you guys. Next, I went into a black eyeshadow in my Jaclyn Hill palette to set the grease paint around my eyes, but this was my first time using grease paint, so I didn't really like the way it turned out. It still was tacky and it never fully dried down, so I definitely suggest something like baby powder to set it because this was literally so tacky. Next, I took my Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. This is a liquid liner and I just applied it to my waterline so that my eyes would be completely black and match the mask. Then I decided that I wanted to go in with a little lip brush with some concealer on it just to patch up any areas of the mask that were a little bit untidy. And once the concealer was on, all I did was just blend it out with my finger really gently. For my lips, I decided to go in with my natural lip color from Bobbi Brown, and this is in the shade Neutral Rose, and I'm just going to apply this on my lips very thinly, and I'm not going to apply it over my whole lip, and that's why we concealed them before, because Elastigirl has really thin lips, so I'm just trying to achieve that look that she has, so I'm just going to make a very thin outline with this lipstick first. If you overlined any spots on your lips accidentally, no worries, just go back in with that same concealer brush as before and touch up. I also decided that the previous lipstick was way too pink, so I topped my lips with the Alyssa Ashley Gloss from e.l.f. in hopes of matching Elastigirl's lip color a little bit better. Now that we've pinpointed the proper brown undertone using the lip gloss, I still feel like it isn't orange enough, so I'm just going to go in with this e.l.f. lipstick called Orange Dream just to bring out the orange tones a little bit more. Now that the face is done, let's go dive into the Wolf Art and FX palette. These are water activated paints, so I'm just going to go ahead and wet my brushes. And then we're going to start by painting the Incredibles logo on our chest. Personally, I feel like it's easiest to paint the base of the eye first. Then once you have the basic outline done, go back in with the yellow paint and make it a bit more opaque. Once the base of the eye is done, just go ahead and paint a circle above it for the little dot above the eye, if you know what I'm saying. And then just try to make it as even as possible, and if you mess up, it's okay, just take a damp Q-tip and just go around the edges until you're happy with the way it looks. Next, I'm going to be activating the white face paint, and for this, you just want to go into the little dot of the eye and just add another circle within it, try to make it as even as possible, and I'm just going back in here and cleaning up the base of the eye. After that, I'm going to be going into my orange body paint and painting the oval that surrounds the eye. Note, you don't have to make it perfect inside because some of it will be covered up with the black detailing. I forgot to show you guys this part, but I used the water-activated black paint for the logo and not the black grease paint from before. Next, I'm going to be activating this red brick color, and I'm just going to go ahead and start outlining the logo very carefully, and then I'm going to go fill in the rest of my body, even my armpits, you guys. That is dedication right there. The second to last step is to go in with the water-activated black paint and create the collar of the suit. As you can see, I accidentally made it too thick, but no worries, I just took a damp Q-tip and some extra red paint to fix the mistake. For the gloves, I decided not to use the water-activated paint because I didn't have enough, so I used the grease makeup instead. That was a big mistake because I ended up with wet paint everywhere, so be wary of that, but I did find that it applied best using my hands. All right, you guys, that is the end of today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Oh my gosh, this video was so fun to film. And if you liked it, please let me know what you think of this new Pixie Hair Scare series that I really want to start on my channel because I feel like I really want to do costume looks for girls that have short hair because there aren't a lot of costumes for that, I feel, because most of them are situated to people with long hair. So just let me know what your thoughts are on this idea. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And also make sure to turn on your post notifications 
notifications so you'll be notified whenever I make a new video. And yeah, that's all for today's video. Thank you all again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!